You feel in charge. Jules here. Dylan. And welcome to another one of our drink throughs. Today, we're going to drink through the entire Knob Creek lineup. Well, not the entire lineup, but, but we're a substantial portion of the Knob Creek lineup. Um, Knob has a bunch of different expressions, and I've been really impressed because they've got so much age stated bourbon out there in a day and age when I feel like there's just not a lot of age stated stuff. Right. Um, they recently uh, changed their base Knob Creek to a nine-year age stated. This is one of those bottles of the nine-year. Uh, they also recently introduced their 12-year-old regular production bourbon, and then they just released a special edition 15-year-old that we're going to taste down there on the end. In addition to all this, they've been well known for their barrel picks. A lot of people go crazy for their barrel picks. I think last year they changed the way they look, and they started looking like this. And you were seeing a lot of these uh, 13, 14, uh, 15 year old barrel picks. This one's uh, 14 years and like 11 months, so almost a 15 year. Um, this year they've changed it ever so slightly. They look like this now, very similar. This is a 10 year old pick. Um, and I don't know if the if this is based on the year or based on the really old ones look like that, and then the 10 year old ones look like this. It's not totally clear on that, but. Anyway, I thought it'd be interesting for us to just kind of taste our way through this because we've got a very kind of somewhat sequential age range here. We've got the new regular edition Knob Creek, nine years old. We've got this barrel pick that I picked up that's a 10-year-old aged. We've got the new regular release 12-year-old. We've got this uh, 14, almost 15-year-old, and then the new 15-year-old. Uh, um, the regular releases of these, so taking these two out of the mix for a second, these are all 100 proof bourbons. So right. it's going to be a really low nice... Proof. Um, yeah, low proof. Low proof. 50% alcohol. I mean, full disclosure, I do... You know, the, the reason I like Knob Creek is they have the 120 proof readily yeah. available. And I love it. That's true. I um, have a huge stock. So the, the barrel picks, so the 10-year-old is 120 proof. And the uh, I think that one's also 120 proof. You can put it back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, all those barrel picks, 120 proof. So let's, uh, let's get started with the 9-year-old. So again, I'll give a quick close-up of the bottle here. Recently redesigned, kind of fitting the same motif as all the others. Nine-year age statement, 100 proof. I mean, for a base bourbon that costs around 30, 30 bucks, that's pretty awesome. I love it. I love I, it. I think, I think Knob Creek, uh, you know, sometimes doesn't get the, uh, the accolades uh, it deserves. Uh, maybe it's because it is prevalent. Right. But I, I enjoy product, it. Right? Yeah, I, I enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah. I mean, this is, I mean, Jim Beam, this is Jim Beam Premium, really. Yeah. And it doesn't, I don't know, to me, it doesn't taste the same as Jim Beam. I think Jim Beam is a little bit more, it has a little bit more of that grain forward. Yeah. And it's, it's a. Uh... <sighs> but you do get a little bit of that nuttiness with this, just a little bit. But then you get that brown sugar creeping in. It's a great nose. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Isn't it? That's good stuff. I mean, even at nine year. You know, you know what I really like is the... Oh, it's really nice. Knob Creek kick. Yeah, it's got a punch to it. Yeah, it, I love the punch. I, it, yeah. that, it, it's got a spice hit. And it's, it's got... Yeah. You can tell you're drinking bourbon. Yeah, if, if I want to avoid really thin, soft drinks, mm. like Eagle Rare 10 or something like that, you know, this is what I go for. I go the 900, you know, and... Nine right there. Actually, I, I get the 9 and 120 right mm. Wow. Don't you have isopropyl with your cereal? Mm. You know, there are rough edges on this, no doubt. For sure. But it is full-bodied. And I mean, I just can't get over the price point and the prevalence of this. You can yeah. pretty much walk into any store and find this. These yeah, days. I think, I think mm. the flavor is there. It's definitely not as elegant um, I think the finish is harsh, and the finish is not as balanced as you would like. Yeah. But again, for the price, and if you want that flavor, this is the way to do it. Absolutely. You, know, you, you can't beat the price. But you know, I'd say for like as young as it is, it's not that unrefined. 
It's a little. It's a I mean, little. Rough. A of, it's a little I rough. Know, I don't think it's that. I'm rough. only nine years old, young for a bourbon. That's these days. That's not that young. That's true. But I'm just saying, for in this lineup, yeah. relatively speaking, true. it's like I don't know. This doesn't it feel does, that rough to me. Yeah, it's. I think it's. I think it's really good. Yeah, really good. Great value. I disagree. So let's go. <laughs> All right, let's move on and try this uh, store pick ten year old. All right, so this 10-year-old store pick, this is a really new one. Um, it was actually uh, selected in March 2020, and um, I think that's when it was dumped as well. And I picked it up maybe like a month ago. I mean, we're in August, or we're in July right now. So pretty new one, um, 10 years old. It was uh, barreled in December 2010 and dumped in March 2020. So uh, 10 years and three months. And it's from a liquor store that happened to have a lot of these and sell it to me. And the price point on it, I think, was 40, 48, hmm, nice. just under 50. Um, a lot of these you'll find in the 50, $50 range. But uh, yeah, you wouldn't, I wouldn't be too surprised to find them in the, like the $45 range. And so we got another year. We got 20 more proof on the bottle. So it'll be an interesting comparison. Mm. And again, a single barrel as opposed to the blend. All right. Oh, mm -hmm. it is a punch. <laughs> it is a punch. But you know, it's it's more brown sugar mm -hmm. and less peanut. No oh. peanut, really. Oh wow. <laughs> it see, this is what I'm talking about. It's so good. The nine year, the finish, the balance, all that was a little off. This one, yeah, balance. With you could see it. You could see it evolve, oh, and, yeah. and this thing is smooth. <laughs> I do right. not taste one twenty. This, no. this, no, it, yeah. the it actually, th yeah. this drinks hotter. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Right. The nine year drinks hotter than this yeah. ten year barrel. Just, just believe me, folks. You know, just believe my my palate because. <laughs> Man, this is incredible. I, I think for the price, what mm. I'm getting, you get not only kind mm. of the bold flavors breaking through, There's but the finish, yeah, the finish oh, yeah. is long and it's really, really soft and, you know, it's just delicate mm -hmm. and it, it just lasts and lasts and lasts. And you know what it, it, the thing incredible. Is, it goes right to the limit. Like yeah. it's about to be harsh, but right. it's just not. Like it's And really then it not. stops. It stops. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's just teasing you. It's mm. like, it's just kind of poking you. Uh, hurt poking the bear. Yeah, do, doesn't it taste like yeah. like seventy proof? No, <laughs> not to me. I mean, it tastes like it tastes like a hundred proof. It tastes really. so it tastes good. so soft. But man, mm. such a nice sugary nose. Mm. I think if I if I drink this Cinnamon. wine, if I drink this wine, I would be like, "Are you giving me like seventy proof?" Liquor? Cinnamon and cherry. <laughs> That's really tasty. Yeah, cinnamon. Sugar, stewed fruit, just, just a little cherry on the nose too. Oh man, it's it's, it's, really the, nice. it's the stone fruit. It's yeah. the cooked stone fruit that I'm getting. I like it. it for bold. me, the finish is like a little uh, spice hit. Yeah, it's just so mm. nice. Yeah, it's like you just drank like some Christmas spice tea. And yeah, it's like the aftertaste yeah. from yeah. that. It's yeah. really nice. Really nice. Very mm. good. Wow, awesome taste there. Let's move on to the new uh, twelve year release. All right, so the twelve year. Um, Aged 12 years, 100 proof, beautiful bottle. Very similar motif to the store picks. Um, it's got a little bit of a lighter blue, just slightly. Is it? Really? It? Yeah. Oh, well, you're right. It's a lighter blue. Yeah. Um, but a great looking bottle. Yeah, I will say, I, I, like, the, I like the new design. I like the redesign. It's yeah. great. It really looks good. Um, this stuff, um, price point, I'd say the, uh, I picked this up, I think, for 59 at a warehouse store. They mm -hmm. had it. Don't be surprised if you find it closer to like the sixty or seventy dollar range, uh, but it, you know it's usually not priced that much higher. And think about what you're getting. I mean, you're getting twelve year old, one hundred proof bourbon in this day and age. And do you see anything with a twelve year old age statement that that you can actually find? Yeah, exactly. That's actually on the shelf. For the viewers, um, you don't see this because you have Dylan all the shelf. bottles. But man, there's, there's a mess a right here. It's spilled. <laughs> I spilled a lot of bourbon. <laughs> there's a creek worth. Yeah. Yeah. It's it smells great. A creek worth. You have a you have a Cory Cory Vrecken down here back here. No, he's got a knob creek. 
Exactly. Okay. I'll give you that one. <laughs> a much more muted nose. I, I'm getting the, the muted, harshness. Muted palate. I'm getting the harshness that I got from the nine. But you know, you spend a little more time with it though, and the nose is there. It's like a slightly turned down version of this tenure to me. But a lot of the same flavors. It's 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 just more muted. Yeah. More jam. Yeah, more jam. More jam. A little bit sweeter. It's mm. it's an easier just, drinker. Just a touch more wood. I don't yeah. know. I and, and no, I get the oak. I can get a little bit of oak. I with feel this. like I feel like this one, the um, the tenure, the tenure, mm. barrel pick. felt like it was lower proof than this. I don't know. This is smoother to me. And the this, nose, this, I the get nose the, is kind of harsh for me. The nose, no, I like the nose. I, I think that on the palate, it's smoother, and I get that touch of oak mm. to let me know that this is two years older. I, I really like the balance of this. <sighs> this gave me, this gave me like that. This was rich, 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 rich yeah. jam. This one took that away from me again. Just, yeah, this just, one threw me back in the woods. Yeah, ripped me away. Interesting. I think if um, if mm. we had this right after the nine, I think we'd notice it a lot more. You think? Yeah. I think the 120 proof might have blown us out a little bit, but um, I think this there's subtleness in this mm. of the balance mm. of the oak with the sweetness and the fruit. Because you don't – I did not get the oak in these at all. I definitely get – the oak. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Yeah, I would agree with but that. it's not an oak bomb. It's no. a very well balanced oak. Which mm -hmm. again, I, I think about all the stuff on the market around the sixty to seventy dollar range. You can't get it. But you can't get a balanced oak like this. And the finish seems to trail off faster for me in this. It's not lasting. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a little weaker. Yeah. yeah. The finish is not as good. Yeah. I still get. I get a little touch of that oak on the finish, which is nice. I don't know. I, it's it's more subtle. Again, I it's think not bad because this yeah, was no, no, so no, bold. None of this, yeah, I mean, because yeah. this ten year right. carpet was so bold. I feel like the the twelve is feels a little muted, but I, I still think there's excellent flavors. Case there. of diminishing returns. We'll see. Let's move on to this uh, fourteen year eleven month barrel pick. All right, guys, The uh, one of my favorite bourbons I've had in quite a while. Is this barrel, <laughs> Way to bury the lead. This, uh, this barrel pick, um, you know, I randomly came upon it in a, in a grocery store. It's a, some bars pick. Um, and I was kind of shocked to see the age on it, you know, a 50, basically 15, 15 years, 14 year. years and 11 months, 120 proof. And 30 days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, no, four days. But um, it. Uh, I think I paid... $53, $54 for this. It was a little while ago. So think about that. 15-year-old bourbon, 120 proof. For under 60 For like 60 bucks. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Crazy town. And I'm really, I mean, you could see the color on this Is it thing. Crazy Creek? Maybe, but man. The color is intense. Oh, man, I got the. Woo. There isn't, yeah. Wow, yeah. I think we're back again. We're back? Oh, yeah. Oh, brown dude, sugar. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> intense brown sugar, man. Just ripe nectar, apricot. Ripe apricot. Stewed apricot. Yeah, stewed stewed, peach. stewed stone fruits. Um, basically, a bouquet of summer fruit. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's it's intense. Intense. Oh, man. Wait, what's the proof on this? 120. Wow. Dude, it does not drink like it. Mm. Oh. Oh, glorious. come on. This is, I would say, a hundred times better. A hundred times better. There is no way you could drink this and this and not notice. Oh, the, yes. Oh, it, absolutely. This is by far better. I mean, by it just far. jumps to this. I mean, a hundred times is a lot of multiplication for me to try to do in my head, so I don't know. No, I, I think if this was, if this was labeled, if this was labeled with... So that means if you scored this an 80, you'd score this an 800? Yeah. <laughs> a 10 times? You can't no. even do math. 80 and 800? That's times 10, not 100. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? That's 8,000. <laughs> oh, 8,000. Yeah, whatever. I told you I can't Whatever. Do that. I tuned yeah. you out a long time ago. All right, so ago. anyway. I tuned you out at the first zero. No, the other thing that... The other... It's like this uh, high-pass filter, actually. Right. Listen. The, the other... Low pass. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I get you a box? Yeah. Oh, my God. So, the one thing that I do want to mention is that the finish is incredible. 
I think, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think yeah. the year, the the fourteen year whatever months really Whoa. shows. Yeah. The high proof really makes it so that the the finish lasts a long time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know what's great is that the finish keeps a lot of that fruit and stewed fruit and jam all the way to the yeah. end. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you know some of these other um, drinks where you say, well, the finish is long and that's good, but when you kind of get to the end. A lot of the kind of the variety, the varietals start to go away. Mm. This one just kept mm-hmm. that bouquet throughout the whole finish. You know and what, what blows me away about it is that I got more oak in the twelve year. I agree. Than I do in this fifteen. Yeah, 14 this year. is oh. really subtle. Oh, it's yeah. really fruit. This is really subtle, just fruit. Yeah. This one's more of the oak. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, Very interesting. Hundred times better. Wow, really, really, really good stuff. I am now hugely regretting having not gone back and bought more bottles of it when I had the opportunity, but yeah. live and learn. And let's learn a little bit about the 15 year after we get some fresh glasses. All right, big box down here. Going to slide this guy down. Big you box. scratched the whole thing. Oh, right? did I? Yeah, wonderful. So that's what the, it's glaring horribly. So let's take this off. There you go. Cool presentation. Um, Look at that. 15 years. Um, so price point on this is uh, around a hundred bucks. Um, I actually got, again, lucky, found it at a warehouse store. You'll, every once in a while, you know, you'll find it. Does in show there. up. It does show up. You know, big. Dude, I think that's like laser etched. It's a nice box. Wood. I like these. I mean, <laughs> yeah. they, they need to sand them down a little bit more because I do feel like I'm gonna get a splinter from that. But it's from a creek, dude. It's a nice box. Um, it's a good looking bottle. It's got this red motif instead of the blue. You know, very clearly there says a 15 year age statement, 100 proof. Um, now they are saying this is a limited release, limited edition you know, is what it says. Um, they put out like the 25th anniversary a couple years back, very similar kind of packaging and all that. And I think this is the kind of thing they're going to be doing regularly. I don't know if they're going to keep doing it as a 15 year, but we'll see. Uh, but for now, this is out there and um, let's give it a taste. Oh, so yeah, I got it. The warehouse store had it, I think, for 75 Wow. Around there. Um, that's very cheap. Don't be surprised if you find it marked up a bit as well. There we go. So we're at a full 15 years, 100 proof, so a little bit lower proof than the uh, than the barrel picks again. Oh, well, the nose is definitely better than the 12 year. I get that cinnamon. On the nose again. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Really nice mm. nose. Really nice nose. I feel like I'm getting a lot of vanilla out of this. Yeah, there's there's more yeah, spices. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I get the I get the vanilla too. It's 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 delicate, a little bit more delicate than than this one. Uh, uh, or, no, or the or oh, yeah. the uh, fourteen year, uh, one hundred and twenty proof. Uh, Might I be think, better balance. I think you already know that I would pick the one hundred and twenty. Uh, 14 year obviously um i i don't think well i guess i could i could accept that argument maybe a touch more balance it's it's there's definitely a, softer there's other flavors in this though there's, like yeah. i get like i get like a chocolate almost yeah. coming through yeah it's, it's really interesting there's, i was gonna say this is, there's a dessert aspect to this yeah. that i'm getting above the others and, and so. again i feel like it's almost less oak than the 12 year yeah it's really interesting yeah. mm, I, I do get a little bit more oak. yeah there's a, yeah there's oak in this one for sure. Yeah, I, I think because of the lower proof, you are able to pick out a little bit more of the delicate um, flavors. Mm-hmm. I think this one overwhelms with a lot of the rich fruit. Yeah, yeah. And and it's enjoyable. It's this yeah. one has, but fruit. But then you start to get a little bit of that subtle honey, molasses, chocolate. A little though. bit more of the wood. No. Uh, maybe I can be convinced of the chocolate. Yeah, no, there's, there's some know. chocolate. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe cacao. I don't know something like that. Um, it's it's good. I would say for the price though, seventy five definitely definitely a value. Oh yeah, for a fifteen year old uh, for a fifteen year, yeah. I think definitely a value. Hundred bucks, I still think that it's it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I had a chance to buy this for a hundred dollars. I actually passed. Um, now I'm thinking maybe I should have picked it up. Yeah, it's uh, not poorly priced, and it's not usually marked up very much. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I think, I think, I don't know that I pay much more than a hundred for it. Yeah. I honestly. think I passed because I looked at the proof and I said, oh, yeah, I, too I, low. I, I need the 120. Uh, but this is a really nice yeah, it's good. flavor experience. I mean, there's a lot going on here. Yeah. I want to, I'm going to do a summary here. I'm going to just say, this is probably my favorite right here. It, it, it gives me everything I want. Yeah. It gives me everything I want. It's just a rich, rich, rich yeah. fruit. So those, those 14, 15 year old store picks, I think we can all agree, had the most flavor. Yeah. yeah. Your favorite? Uh, I would actually go with the uh, 10 here. Funny you said that. Like, I was actually very impressed with this. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Hmm. I think it punched way above its weight class kind of thing. I don't know. It was, and I don't it was really know good. in the future if they're going to be pulling back on the 15-year-old store picks and you're mm. going to see more and more of these 10-year-old mm. range. But if you are, I don't think you're losing that much. No. I yeah, mean, true. it's really nice getting that 15-year. You do get... And the better packaging, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So you I mean, could give it is, as a gift. If this but, is the consolation prize, right. man. Oh, yeah. What a prize, yeah. right? right? I mean, that's um, pretty What good. a journey. So let's, um, let's for a second, let's take these out of it again. And let's mm. just look at that core lineup. Yeah, here we go. And we got a 9-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a 15-year-old. Yeah. Um, what I like the most about this is that you get three very different experiences. Totally. Very true. You get kind of this more raw, in-your-face bourbon here. You get this very interesting, balanced, smoky, oaky, more wood. sweet, more wood. More and wood. then at the 15, you kind of get everything. You get the sweet. You this, get is, the this is the balanced, delicate, um, you know, kind of a flavor spectrum. Yeah. This is a little bit more wood forward. Yeah. Uh, still fruit, but... You know, maybe it's not, it's not, it's not like coming through as much as you get from here. And then this is just raw, yeah. raw power. Raw power, yeah. yeah. Energy. This is the, the unrefined talent that's yeah. just ready to explode in one of these directions. It's really interesting. It's Rocky One. It's Rocky One. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Works. Oh. Kind yeah. of. <laughs> I, I love four. Yeah, I, I, know, I love four. Um, Go for it. Gorbachev. I do love the fact that this exists. Yeah. And I think when we start factoring price, I mean, this is a pretty impressive thing to behold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice collection, Dutch. All right, guys. Well, this has been another one of our drink throughs. Let us know what you think about this kind of series and other ones you might like to see in the future. Jules, definitely take us out. smash that thumbs up button if you like this episode. Hit that subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. And as always, stay curious. Let's think about this. So Rocky won. This makes sense. Totally. Raw. Rocky 2, he's a little overconfident. Loses. Totally. To Mr. T. No, that's No, three. no, no. That's oh, three. three. Yeah, uh, which is, which oh, wins, does make wins, sense. Wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's got a little more yeah. refinement. Yeah. Yeah. And then he gets so a little overconfident. He's a little totally. over. Yep. He's been right. sitting too long. Right. Loses to Mr. T. But comes back in the end and proves that he's really good. Rocky 4, he's just ready to kill people. This is, this is it. This yeah. is right here. Yeah. And then Rocky Five. This is American Pride, baby. Yeah, and this is this is uh this is like the family family film. The family drama. You know, like the Street Fighter. This is what, like. What, what does know. Don King say? Or Don King equivalent? What he's he a say? no, yeah, I think he does say that. He's, he's a, a Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, don't fight. You know, yeah. yeah.